Hey everyone, Shane here with eTower.com. Today I have a 2020 Subaru Crosstrek and I'm gonna walk through how to install the Hopkins Simple Plug-In Vehicle Wiring Harness. This is what our harness is gonna look like when it's installed. It is designed to live inside the vehicle. You'll notice that it is running under the door. It is designed to do that. It is not going to affect the wiring at all. This is gonna give you your fork pole connection. So it's gonna give you your proper lighting functions uh, to, so when you're towing a trailer, your trailer receives those light functions from the vehicle. It's gonna come with a nice dust cap, so when we're not using it, you can put on that dust cap and it keeps any dirt and debris from getting onto your connections. Again, when we're not using it, we simply roll it up. We can tuck it right down into our spare tire compartment when it's ready to go for the next time. When we are going to use it, you want to make sure you're running it over the rubber seam. Stay away from any connections where the door is going to make it down onto your threshold. As far as the installation process, it is going to be very simple. The hardest part about doing it is removing your panels inside the vehicle. The plug is going to be located right here on the back side, on the driver's side right here in the back. The wiring harness, what makes it really nice is it comes with a converter box already installed on it. And what the converter box does is it protects the vehicle wiring from back feed. So if your trailer has a short, uh, the short's like the back feed. When it back feeds, the box is gonna keep it from back feeding all the way to your factory wiring to cause any further damage. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. Starter installation, we need to remove our floor coverings. We're gonna come over to our driver's side, trim panel tool. We need to take out this foam section. We're gonna have some fasteners right here that we need to pull out. And make sure you cover them, because they are plastic and they will pop out of there pretty quick. Except that one. Take this out, we'll set it aside. We're gonna to come to this panel here. We're gonna have a pushpin fastener here and one on that side. We need to remove both of those. And we'll come over to our passenger side. We're gonna pop this foam piece off as well. Take those and we'll set them aside. We're gonna take our threshold and we're gonna pop pull up on it. We're going to work our way across until we get it loose and we'll set it aside like that. Right down here in the corner on your driver's side is going to be your connector. It's going to have some blue tape on it. You can either leave that the way it is or you can remove it completely up to you. Next we're going to take our plug from our wiring harness. We're going to match it in with our plug on our vehicle. We'll plug them together. And then we have to find a place to mount our converter box. I think what I'm going to do is your kit's going to come with some zip ties. I'm just going to kind of roll this up as much as I can like this. Go ahead and throw a zip tie around it. I'll zip tie it to this factory wiring. I'm going to spin this over and zip tie it right to my wiring there, and then I have my four pole plug that we can hang out. That'll keep that secured. Now we'll test out our wiring using part number I26. Left turn, right turn, running lights, brake lights. Once you've tested it out, you know it's working correctly. Go ahead and reinstall all of your panels and you're ready to go. It's gonna do it for a look at an installation on the Hopkins Simple Plug-In Wiring Harness on a 2020 Subaru Crosstrek.